Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Naturally Tilly. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, cause we got a good one. We got a good one. Um, so I had a um, picture that I posted on my social media um, about two days ago. Um, I'll post it here or show it here, the one that I'm speaking of. Um, I posted that picture and I also made a little quote saying, you know, I don't have any foundation on and people just could not believe that i didn't have foundation on and i'm like y'all it get hot in the summer okay i'm not gonna always want to cake all this stuff up on my face but i know i am gonna want to still look beat and snatched so i was like what to do what to do ah how about we try this without foundation so i tried it, it the look came out bomb okay i loved it I loved how my face felt throughout the day. Oh my God, it felt so light and just dewy skin. And oh, it was just looking good, y'all. And I loved it. And I said, people have been asking, why not give the people what they're asking for? So I'm gonna go ahead and do a tutorial today on how to achieve that good, dewy, glowy, everyday look without any foundation, y'all, okay? So when your girl say beauty on a budget, I really mean beauty on a budget. Everything that I use on my face just to do this little basic look is from the drugstore, okay? Drugstore, everything. Like nothing is high class or high end that I use. Everything is from the drugstore. So I'm gonna try to make this a chit chat video. Um, it's kind of hard for me to talk and do my makeup. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm definitely going to try my best to just to, um, you know, make it a little bit more personal instead of you just watching me do it. You know what I mean? So, okay, so I've already washed my face and moisturized my face with Pond's um, face cream. So we've done that. Um, I don't have many blemishes, but I definitely do have a few. Um, I do have a little friend that wants to pop up here right now. So, you know, just little something here here and there nothing too too bad but but hey they are there okay so the first thing that I like to do is go ahead and tackle my eyebrows first oh y'all <laughs> my eyebrows sometimes I don't know like with my eyebrows y'all sometimes I have like really really good days like well they're just bomb it don't take me long to do them and then I have those other days where one of them just perfect right like I got one perfect but then that other one this over here say no I want to go this way I don't I don't want to be uniform I want to go this way so yeah we have those struggles <laughs> so hopefully today is not one of those days I will let you guys know what I use so for my eyebrows I use three things three things three things sometimes two but normally three things um, the first thing that I use is a brown eyeliner and this one here is from LA Colors Eyeliner Pencil. Just a regular dark brown eyebrow pencil. And then I have this Eyebrow Duo from e.l.f. It has the uh, spoolies at the bottom, and then has that uh, like angled in on there. Let me go ahead and wipe that off too. That has, looks like concealer from last time. Okay, wipe that off. Okay, perfect. So I use that. And the concealer that I'm going to use today is the e.l.f. concealer. This is the e.l.f. concealer in the color Deep Chestnut. I love this thing, y'all. Like, I love, love, love this concealer. It's cheap. It was probably 2 or $3 at Walmart. It has the brush like that. Very, very pigmented. I love it. Um, it's one of my go-tos, definitely. So, yeah, these are the three things I use on the brow. So, let's go ahead and pour it on these brows, honey. Oh, Let's get started on these brows. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just kinda clean them up a little bit, brush them up. Okay, now y'all, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it real, real one thou wow. <laughs> okay, so y'all, I have not had my eyebrows arched, threaded, done anything at all in, in I say over six months y'all over six months like concealer and a pencil been saving your girl life out here because yeah other than that 
Ooh, it looks cool. Okay, so we got those going all out in one direction. I'm just gonna go in with my brown pencil and kind of just, you know, follow the trace of my eyebrow. I do know the natural arch of it, so I kind of just try to follow that and do the same thing on the other side. So just fill in, fill in, fill in. I can do um, a more detailed brow tutorial in the future, but this really is like the gist of what I do, y'all. Like I don't even shade in perfect. <laughs> I don't, I don't even shade in perfect because all I'm gonna do is take the spoolie and brush it right back out. So, yeah, I don't even, it's like why, you know what I mean, why? So, whatever little pencil I put on there, I'm gonna kind of brush it back out anyway. So, yeah, this is what I did. You see that? And look how janky that looks. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we're going to clean it right on up. All right, that's enough of brushing that around. So we're going to take that same concealer that I showed you by Elf. Um, I'm not going to use the actual brush for this because this doesn't have any... Well, you see why I'm not going to use it, right? It doesn't have any kind of arch or nothing to help me child so i'm just going to use the end of that dual spool spoolie that i've been using and i'm just going to tap kind of tap it in the concealer just to get a little bit on the brush like so so not too 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 much but just enough on the brush just to go ahead and create my first arch under my brow so that's pretty much all that i need and let's use the red First, first little arch down here, and I'm just gonna pull that excess. Just gonna pull it down because it's, it's no reason for it to be there. Okay, <laughs> no reason for it to be there. So I'm just gonna pull it down in a downward motion, and I'm using the same brush that I did the line with, just pulling it down. Um, we're gonna later blend all this excess. Uh, concealer out so that part really just doesn't matter as of right now but this is what we have so far all right all right so I'm going to take same brush same concealer do the same thing again and go over my top brow now I do it a little different when I do my top so I'm not gonna have as much concealer as I have the bottom and I'm also going to mix the concealer a little bit at the top so it's not as light as the bottom. Um, I'm going to go in right now with this though, with the e.l.f. And then I'm going to show you what I mean when I go in and darken it a little bit. Okay, and even though I know that we can just blend in that light concealer at the top, I'm still gonna take a darker concealer and go in and kind of lighten it up. But first I'm gonna go in with my pencil, kind of get those little spots that need to be 
kind of shade it in. Yeah, y'all, brows, brows is a whole, child, brows is a whole process, okay? And I'm gonna brush that in as well. Okay, so, that's that. I'm gonna go in um, and fix, like, all the little imperfections probably in a moment. Let me go ahead and get this darker. And first, I'm trying to get this a little too far. So I'm going to go in on the top of my brow with the Ruby Kiss HD Concealer and this is in the color Dark Cocoa. Um, just a regular Ruby Kiss Concealer. Again, color Dark Cocoa and I got this just at my regular beauty supply store. So love, love this. And it has a brush at the top. I'm just going to squeeze a little of that concealer to the top and go like so here and kind of just follow the outline a little bit tone it down a little bit because I want the bottom to be lighter than the top so I want to go in and kind of tone that down like so I'm gonna do the same thing to this brow over here, you guys. But I just wanted to do a talk through and do it kind of more detailed and show you guys what I actually do to my brows. So now I'm just gonna take this Wet n Wild. I wanna want say this is an eyeshadow brush, but I use it to blend out my concealer, y'all, because I think it works better for that. So that's what I'm going to use it for. <laughs> So yeah, we're just gonna go in and blend with this first. And then I'm gonna go in and blend with my uh, beauty blender. But first I just kinda wanna go in and clean it up like this first. And you see how it automatically took that brightness away from the top of the brow? That's why I love, love, love to do it that way. Automatically takes that, that, that shine away that you don't want. You know, I want it to glow more from the bottom than from the top of the brow. So that's one reason why I do that. So I love, love, love. Love, love, love that it does it that way. Okay, you guys. All right. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender here. And this is a dry beauty blender. I do not have it moisturized. I know a lot of people like to moisturize it. Um, and I like to moisturize mine as well, but not for this step in particular. Um, I'll spray mine when I start to do things on my actual face. But for my brows, no, I definitely don't need to spray it right now for my brows. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this one. Be right back, you all. Alright, guys, so both eyebrows are done. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and conceal my eyes. I'm gonna conceal my lids here and then under my eyes here. And then I may conceal a little of my nose here, forehead, and I may dab a little here and here, but we'll see. So with, for this, of course, I'm going to use the brush. And it's so pigment, y'all. And again, this is the e.l.f. E.l.f. concealer. And when I say bomb, bomb, okay? Bomb. Like, I have no issues out of this. The other concealer that I use is the Maybelline. Uh, the Maybelline concealer. And I think I use the Cocoa Color in that one as well. Now, that one's okay. Like, that's another like go-to that I have that I always use so 
those are my two favorite. And again, that's something you can find at the drugstore. Okay, none of this is high end. Okay, it's not high end. Put a little here. Put under there. Good. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is take my beauty blender. I'm gonna do my eyes first. Just blend them all over, and then do my nose. Top five. Good. Here we go. Now with the beauty blender, I do drag upward. Y'all see that? So I get under here. Oh, and I did spray my beauty blender. I know I didn't show that on camera, but I did spray it with my finishing, my setting spray. Where did I just sit it? Okay, I don't know where I just set it at. <laughs> but when I find it, I'll show it on camera or at least list it. Um, but yeah, I did go ahead and damp it with the spray. And this is the most important part, y'all, because this is the base, <laughs> okay? This is the most important part, to not have blotches and to make sure everything is nice and beat and toned. And you don't wanna see those harsh lines. You don't wanna see a harsh line at all so be sure and take it upward y'all under the eye and up under the eye and up and at that point you just beating honey okay you're just gonna beat you're just gonna beat you're just gonna beat you're just gonna beat, you're just gonna beat. <laughs> all right guys so we got everything pretty much blended in all the concealer blended in on those spots and this is what we're looking like now i'm going to go in and contour my nose and contour right here just a little bit even though i do have a natural kind of contour about myself i'm still going to kind of go in and just contour it a little bit just to touch it up with that same um ruby kiss dark brown or what is it yeah dark cocoa so what I do, I follow the line here and just bring it down. And you're not gonna see it too, too much y'all because I picked a color that's pretty close to my skin tone. So yeah, I didn't want it to look too, too crazy because like I said, I do already have a natural contour <laughs> about myself, so yeah. This one here, just contour that nose, and I'm gonna go right here, contour right there. Same thing, a little bit to contour, do a little around the forehead, just a little, I'm not, don't need much, and come down and around. Like I said, don't need much, okay. So for everything that I just put on, I'm just going to take that same beauty blender. Blend it out. Blend it out, y'all. Scarf sliding off my head. <clears throat> Let me pull this down a little bit. Because I need my head just to lay down, lay down. You feel me? Okay. Oh, that's the wrong section. <laughs> Here we go. Lining. Next, what I'm going to do is make sure I get my nose good. And I hate that I have a pimple right now. Like, of all the times they have a pimple, I have a pimple right, right now. So crazy. All right, blend that nose, blend that nose, uh, blend that nose. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I keep doing that, let me turn on this side. Make sure I turn on the opposite side to touch up my eye and not where the dark is. Okay, perfect. 
perfect now what i'm going to do is con not conceal i am going to set everything that we just concealed or whatever you feel me you see how it's looking already and i don't have any foundation on y'all no foundation works wonders i'm telling you Oh, and I didn't even show y'all what I'm using. I'm using the Kiss New York Professional Pro Touch Setting Powder. Let me fix it back so I can show y'all what it looks like. Um, and I got this. It has so much powder on it, y'all. <laughs> but I've been using this now for a little while. Um, it has a good bit in it. This is the setting powder in the color of Earth. So that's the... That's the shade for this, and this was from a beauty supply store. So I probably paid about three or four bucks for it. And um, this is the consistency. Really, really good. Really, really good for, you know, just a cheap setting powder. It's really, really good. Now, I do still want to try the, you know, the expensive ones one day when I feel like I want to kind of ball out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, just to see and test it for myself. Just to see, hey, what's the big deal? Like, let me see what everybody's talking about. You know what I mean? Because a lot of that stuff, I feel like... I feel like it's just the name that you're paying for. I feel like... I don't know yet, because I haven't purchased anything that's just really, really expensive. But... I just feel like you're paying for the name. Just looking at the reviews I've seen and, you know, just some people do their comparisons on YouTube and stuff like that. I, I definitely feel like you're just paying for the name. Definitely, okay. All right, y'all. So I really don't bake. <laughs> I really don't bake. Um, I just put it on and kind of go ahead and just brush it on off, okay? Um, I don't know. Some people bake. I don't know if I know the difference or see the difference. Well, not for me personally. I really don't. So, <laughs> I just go ahead and take a brush and just brush it off. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Love this brush. It's so, so soft. And it blends perfectly. So, I'm just going to take this brush and sweep it off. Any powder that I have. Go ahead and sweep it off. Sweep and sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep it off. Sweep it off. All powder, sweep it off. The forehead, off the nose, like all that. Sweep it off. This is what we looking like. Can you see? Can y'all see? Can y'all see what we looking like? Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm not gonna do too too much to my eyes. To be honest, um, I don't do a lot with my eyes, y'all. Just to be honest, I may do a wing liner, but that's like the most I do. <laughs> I'll do a wing liner and some lashes and that's probably it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do my eyes, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this blush on probably first. And this is Rimmel London, Rimmel London <laughs> Maxi Blush. And this is in the color Wild Card. I've been using this blush um, for a little while now as well. I have this in my Target haul that I did on my Get Ready With Me Target Beauty on the Budget. Um, I got a lot of makeup for $35. If you haven't seen that, go back and check that video out. 
beauty on the budget definitely um i did a full face for 35 dollars, y'all like i got everything out of target all of the brushes the, the everything definitely go check it out but yeah i've been using this ever since i got it out of that haul love it love it love it it looks really really good on my skin tone um and i'm just gonna take a wet and wild angled brush wet and wild angled blending brush actually and just hit those cheeks is it hit those cheeks in an upward motion of course so oh, i just hate that i have this pimple here y'all like i hate i have that pimple okay in a upward motion yeah see that blush popping mm-hmm Blush popping, blush popping. Alright, y'all. <clears throat> the last thing I'm gonna add to my, well, I'm gonna add like two more things to my face. I'm just blending this, y'all, real quick because I don't like when it's too too. I like it to blend more. Okay, but um, I'm gonna put two more things on my face, and I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna do highlighter. I'm gonna highlight, and then my, of course, my face. But let me go ahead and just do my eyes real, real quick. I'm going to just do a winged. I'm just going to do a winged eyeliner. And then I'm just going to do some really, really simple uh, 3D lashes. Real, real simple and cute. Nothing too, too big. Now, don't talk about me with my winged liner, y'all, okay? Because, hey, I'm still practicing that, okay? So, I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Ultra Liner Waterproof black liquid liner this is what it looks like it's by maybelline new york this was also in that target haul and so far i like this um liner um i will say that it gets kind of sticky when you when you're putting it on and when i say sticky let me just make sure that that's okay Okay, but yeah, um, it gets kind of sticky, so you have to move a little quick. I think it sticks like that just to make sure that it stays in place, but I don't know. It kind of scares me, so I don't like that, <laughs> but here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start with the inner. Y'all see what it looks like? Look, look, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. This one I like to fool with this. It takes me a while to get it like I want it. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get it there. We sure are. So one other thing that I do is I clean it up. <laughs> I clean it up with concealer. So if it's looking crazy, y'all, just excuse it. Excuse it for now because I'm gonna clean it up and make it look oh so much better. <laughs> Cause I know it's looking a fool right now. Okay. And then this thing is just, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and clean this up. I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch it real quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and do my cleanup with, remember the duo? Remember the e.l.f. concealer? Definitely, so I'm gonna go do my little cleanup on my brow here. My brow, my wing liner here. I'm just gonna take my little brush and just ee, 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 take all that off. But I don't want like so. You see that? You see that? 
take all the part off that I don't want on there. Take it off. Look at and see. So you don't have to fret. You don't have to fret. <laughs> when something don't go right or it's not laying like you want to delay or this, that, and the third, y'all. You don't have to fret. Concealer. how much better that looks just from doing that much and I'm not even done yet you know what I mean so, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this concealer out and fix it all right guys so I went ahead and finished my winged <laughs> liner and I also went ahead and applied my lashes as well so this is what we're looking like so far oh and I went ahead and took my scarf off I just went ahead and took it on off because I was I had it on laying my edges down. I just used a little uh, Gorilla spot glue for my edges. Just laid them down real quick. Um, but yeah, so I went ahead and removed that. And this is what we're looking like so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my highlighter because that's really like the last thing that I need to do is just add a little highlighter. Um, and with the highlighter, y'all, I've been lately applying it with my finger. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. My finger just seems the best at blending it out and, and making it like I want to make it. Okay, so I took that scarf off and let me blend that. So that's where I have that scarf on it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of blend that out so it's too, too harsh of a line. Okay. Now, the highlighter that I'm using is by Makeup Obsession London Mega Honey Highlighter Illuminator. This was also in that Target haul. So if you haven't checked that Target haul out, all of these things are there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger. I wanna show y'all how pigmented this is. Watch this. That was one little swipe. You see that? You see how pigmented that is? That was from one simple little swipe. So, I'm gonna go here at the tip of my nose, of course. Um, up my nose a little bit. Dab again, do a little here. Now it's gonna look crazy <laughs> when you just first putting it on your face, okay? Until you blend it out, it's gonna, it's gonna look crazy. So don't, don't worry about that. Okay, a little here on the forehead, a little here. Just the points where you want the light to hit really good. That's where I put it. That's where I put it. So we're gonna blend. Now I have several brushes to blend, of course. But like I said, when it comes to highlighter, y'all, I don't know. Like lately, I just love to use my finger. Like my finger just does the trick. It gets it. It it, it gets the job done. Okay. Like it, it knows exactly what I'm wanting. Okay. So I just been using my finger lately. I'm gonna brush out those spots there. Now I may go back with my brush and just blend, of course, or something, but for the most part, it gets what I want. Um, I like to go in my corners here. So let me get a little close so I can do those. I like to get in those corners. And if it doesn't, So I'm going in the corners of my eyes here with that highlighter. And I'm just using a, I think this is a Beauty Accents Blending Eyeshadow Brush. This is something else that I got from Target. And I'm just gonna use that for the corners of my eyes because I do like to have that little, you know, little pop going on, you know what I mean? All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish adding a little of this NYX Butter Gloss in the color, let's see, Eclair. So this was also in that Target haul, y'all. Um, so I added one layer already, I'm just gonna add probably one more. To make it look really, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh yes. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is go in with my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. 
y'all already know same haul same haul same haul check out that target video y'all but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use this i'm gonna shake it up a little bit and Yes, honey, yes. So we're gonna let that dry. But yeah, y'all, this is pretty much the look. We're gonna just let that dry. These braids, y'all, I've had these braids in, I think I was just telling y'all this in my last vlog. But um, I had, I've had these braids in since April, okay? Since the end of April. And it is now mid-June. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, these are truly my quarantine braids, y'all, okay? like. All I've been doing is when my scalp feels real itchy and dirty, I'll wash it in the shower and then I'll um, add a little oil to my scalp and then just lay my edges and stuff back down and, you know, I'll be good to go after that. I'll push it out of my face and stuff when I'm too hot or something and, you know, kind of get it out of my way. But today, this is fine. This is fine. It's not really in my way too much. It's, you know, we're good. We're good. So... Yeah, you guys, let me fan my face a little bit and help this to dry. I didn't realize it was going to take this long to dry. It's pretty much dry, though. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Worth it. All right, you guys. And this is the look, you guys. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It's so cute, simple and basic no foundation it feels so light um it doesn't have that heavy feeling that foundation sometimes make you feel when you um have it on and then you go outside and you sweat and it, mm, it's too much but i've been doing this now about a couple weeks and i've been enjoying it okay um i still get the same results uh still looks good and snatched to me honey i just take care of my little key areas that i have troubles with with that concealer and baby we good to go okay we good to go oh yeah all right <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my video go ahead and like comment and subscribe share it to your friends thank you thank you so much for the support that i've been getting so far um as a lot of you know i am a new youtuber um small youtuber and i'm trying to become a big youtuber we're gonna go ahead and claim that and put that in the air for the lord but uh but yeah you guys i thank you so much the support has been amazing from complete strangers it still blows my mind but thank you guys so 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 much for rocking with your girl join the tilly gang comment down below things that you would like to see me do in the future comment below some tips and tricks that you may have that you know that you do with your makeup that i could you know learn from okay share it with your girl okay i'm all about sharing and love okay again thank you guys so so much be safe bye